Hi everyone and welcome back to Story of the World Highlights. Today we'll be discussing chapter 14, which takes us to Germany. So, as many of you know, we've talked about the German lands, which are part of the Holy Roman Empire. Now, the German lands were made up of many principalities. Principalities are little areas ruled by princes who are not kings. Now, one of the principalities that we're going to be focusing on is Brandenburg in the east. And Brandenburg was ruled or owned, I guess you could say, by Prince Frederick I. Now, Prince Frederick I, when during his time, he inherited a land to the east of the German lands called Prussia. Now, Prussia was not part of the Holy Roman Empire. It was just a different little kingdom to the east. So now Frederick I was in charge of both his principality of Brandenburg and of this new little kingdom, Prussia. Now, he wanted to be called king in Prussia, but he didn't want to threaten the Holy Roman Empire. So what he did is he said, oh, Holy Roman Emperor, can I call myself king in Prussia? Now, the Holy Roman Emperor said, I don't have any control over Prussia. It's not in my empire. Sure. But he wanted to be very clear that Frederick was only the king in Prussia. So his response was, sure, you can call yourself king in Prussia. And Frederick took it. He said, all right, close enough. And in 1701 in Prussia, he had a coronation and named himself King Frederick I of Prussia. Now, he, even though he was king only in Prussia, when he would go and visit his lands in Brandenburg, he still wanted to be treated like a king. He had giant parades for him. The people in Brandenburg cheered. They were all excited to see their king or prince or king. Anyways, he started to build this idea that Prussia was both lands. He said, we are Prussians, just in name. And I am your leader or king in both lands. So he really started to build this idea that Prussia was great and that both places were Prussia. And he even built Prussian universities that became the top ones in Europe. He even started teaching all the Prussians the German language so that they all were proficient in it. He even made his palace and court the best one in Europe and everybody looked up to them. Now, his son made it even more official by declaring that Brandenburg was now part of Prussia. And he led and made Prussia even stronger. And his son, Frederick II, um, made Prussia even more strong with a stronger army and adding more land to Prussia. That was why he was called Frederick the Great. Now, all of this would eventually lead to what one day would be Germany. So this beginning of Prussia, and the expansion of Prussia to include the, include the German lands was the beginning of what modern day Germany is. Okay, thank you for everyone and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.